I have decided to create a series of videos that will show you how Zo One was able to change businesses across the world. In today's session, I am going to host Mike and Shana from Equisto Real Estate. I've been working with them for the past few years and they have insane results. And of course, therefore, I invited them to share their experience with Zo and how Zo is able to help them. And of course, hopefully along the way, you will be able to take some tips and ideas and implement them in your business and make a real change. Let's go and dive into the video. Okay, so today we have very, very special guest on this video, Mike and Shana. They're awesome real estate agents. We're growing from a small you know, agency to 28 agents across two different states. Uh, Zo, I think, was a big factor in their decision to grow and the way that they grew, the processes that they created. And I think they're a very interesting story for people that like to hear how Zo can help you grow your business. So hello, Mike and Shana. Good morning. Hey, Lior. It's awesome to get to see you. You're just an amazing person, right? First of all, and thank you for letting us be here. And this yes, video is about to... you, Mike, not about me. I, <laughs> hey, hey, I know, but so Zoho is important and Zoho is amazing. And it really has helped us grow. We had, we did struggle for a very long time. We've been in business now for 20 years. My wife and myself has, as an independent boutique brokerage. And we did struggle with all different types of things, right? We were paper-based. And then we, obviously, when we went to other stuff, we were in multiple different uh, types of software and we had all these data silos and they didn't talk and it was problematic. Right. And then we're like, we need to just get into a system. And then there were so many, and we'd had limitations and we couldn't customize it. And we had problems. And then Zoho comes along specifically with Zoho One. And now we have everybody on it and it has helped us be able to scale. They consistently come out with new products and new, and, uh, you know, new things within each product that help us be able to grow. And we feel super comfortable in the software, not only for this week, this month, this year, but like for decades going forward. And I think it's user friendly. Like we all are able to get in there, whether you're you know, you're a, you're a tech person or not, it's, it's simplified enough to where all of our users are comfortable getting in there and, and uh, utilizing. I, I think the, the, yeah. the, the biggest point that uh, you were able to make it happen, it's not, I think, because of Zo, is because the way that you constructed it. For example, when you have your, your media day, which most agents will just, send an email to the photographer, hey, Josh, take pictures of 105 Avenue Street. They will go shoot and send them a link to a Dropbox. You have a completely different process that is step-by-step step all the way from checking the, the area before the shooting time, during the shooting, what needs to happen there, how to upload the picture to Zillow, whatever places. Mm -hmm. You have a full process that's making the experience both of the employee and also, of course, the result for your client that is, you know, it's bicycle comparing to Mercedes. I think the way and the process and the brain that you invested into creating a, an awesome blueprint, that's, I think, why your employees are comfortable, right? Otherwise, you just go to a module and you need to discover what to do, which is horrible. It's very <laughs> difficult. Yeah, well, you know, I would say, Lior, that so my name's Mike Aquisto, and I tried to take the mic out of micromanagement, but I've never been able to. And I feel if we at least started with the blueprint and did everything there, that would be like all of our rules and directions and assignments and like whatever it is all in one, and then eliminate me from the process and my wife from the process and replace it with the computer and the technology. And that's kind of the idea and to make it user-friendly. It's not perfect. And we're always tweaking it, mostly because our systems and our process change as things evolve but mm -hmm. we do have the ability to. And uh, for that, I'm thankful. I will chime in too and say, you know, most larger brokerages have multiple platforms that their agents have to go into, 
you know, and they have to, you know, get out of one to go into the other for whatever the specific item is in their business. Yeah. And we can just log into Zoho and it does everything. And, you know, that's really been beneficial to us being a, a small boutique brokerage where we've never been with a big, larger brokerage like that. But now we're seeing just because we're small, we have this, you know, the tool of Zoho that I think it would match up to anybody. And it gives us the confidence to grow from where we currently are going forward. Before we used to have a problem, we would bring on one new person and like one new person that worked with us would almost cripple us for an amount of time. Mm -hmm. And you have to go through it like slowly. It was just like, oh my word. Right. And then now (laughs) we, I I feel totally comfortable in everything we do, scaling it to a hundred people or a thousand people, not adding one at a time, but putting zeros behind every number. Yeah. Because yeah. you have the processes That's when you have a new lead based on the lead type, based on the area, based on everything, you know, things are going to the right place, mm-hmm. the right people taking care of it. You have no bleeding of leads disappearing, yeah. right? You have a good, it's all processes that you created, right? This and is why we, you think you're so awesome. The, well, the way that you're where, able to do it. <laughs> where I think we're, where, where I'm totally comfortable, right, is the fact that we can expand and I feel comfortable in our process. So what we did with Zoho, and this was my requirement from a technology perspective, is I said, we need to provide everything technology related for our agent possible. And they need to be able to come to me and say, I need this done technology wise, right? Mm-hmm. And so they make a business case for whatever it is. And I asked them the question back. So there's just a few questions. Would this number one, create one additional transaction for you as an agent on an annual basis? So is it going to help your business grow, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Or is it going to save you dramatic amount of time? So either one of the two. And then the second question, if they answer yes to it, is, is this an item that I can also replicate and have others use the same exact functionality? right? So can I scale it? Mm-hmm. And if the answer is yes to that, and we currently don't have a way for the person to do the same thing, like I'm not going to change the color of a button, or I'm not going to change the style to a drop down or something else. Like if it's there, it's there. But if not, what we need to be able to do is say back to the agent, yes, we'll do that, have a low cost to be able to do it, and we'll implement it within 30 days so that they can do it and everyone else can have it from here forward to be able to grow the firm. And a lot of that comes back to you, my man, that you're there, that we feel comfortable that whatever it is that comes up, that you're going to ninja it for us and take care of it. And it's supremely (laughs) confident having that behind us. You've changed our life, Lior. Thank thank you, but it's about you, you, not about me. Ah. I know that uh, Carol wants to ask uh, some questions. I'm always interrupting. So sorry, Carol. (laughs) No, but you've always been there for us along the way. And that's been really important. Mike, you know, since the day he met you is talk, he talks about you all the time with our friends, with other (laughs) business associates. And it's, it's, thank you. you It's relationships and that's part of our business. Right. And so you're, you're a great relationship. And one of the ones that we count that we're, we're lucky to have and possess And I think a lot of that goes to why we get along so well is because it's not for you, it's not about you. And for us, it's not about us. It's always about the other person, whether it's a client or whether it's you, right? That's what it is. And we're only as good as the people that are around us Mm -hmm. in whatever vertical that happens to be. You teach me that beautifully. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There we go. Absolutely. So Carol, I will will let you ask some questions. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Why, thank you, Leo. (laughs) Well, I kind of want to go back to what you were saying, Mike, about letting your sales agents kind of give recommendations on the system. So I think that's really cool in general, because that also makes them feel more empowered over what they get to do in their job. And like they get to make decisions on how to improve things and um, grow themselves. So I think that's really cool that you guys do that. Um, So do you guys have like a favorite feature of Zoho or like a favorite app that you guys use? 
Well, I guess if we start at the top, we use mail the most frequently because it's like mm -hmm. the most simple of uh, things, but it's not mm -hmm. to be kind of overlooked because it does have quite a few features and they keep updating different things in it. Right. There's all these different rules and it's, it, it's a very good product. Mm -hmm. So don't overlook some of the simple things. Right. Because I no longer get any calls on email from our agents, period. So how amazing is that, that it actually just works and it has the stuff. Right. So so that's good. Mm -hmm. And then within there, the core piece that's really built to within our business is the CRM in Zoho CRM. Then we use a bunch of the other items like the uh, the, the document upload. I think the new version is called Work Drive. And that does help us out. We link a lot of things there and we put stuff in place. Zoho CRM, we end up having to do the most customization to. Mm -hmm. We actually use the wiki every day and it's super weird, uh, but it hosts all of our stuff kind of like for our online learning so agents can find things. Most and people want to know what is the wiki. Can you explain what is the wiki and how do you use it? Yes. So we use that kind of for our learning for our agents. And what we found over a period of time is that we were getting a lot of level one questions, repetitive, all the time we'd get like these same questions. So in any business, there's like, hey, how do I do this? How do I get to that? What's this all about, right? So it's mm -hmm. kind of a basic question. And we, we wanted to get to a place where we could say, let's not answer that question anymore. And let's stop meeting one-on-one -on -one with somebody. And as we were starting to scale, we're like, we can't do that. We love these people, totally love the agents, Mm -hmm. but we can't do yeah, it but it's time constraint you can't right. yeah so now we now we basically record everything we do for the most part right mm -hmm. and instead of doing it one to one we do it one to many and it's recorded so our wikipedia page has all these things internally and it's systems processes we go through and have them have a transcript on everyone put all the links together basically all our meetings are annotated with time notes and all that stuff tags and we can find the stuff later on. Mm -hmm. And then Excellent. that's categorized. So then the agents can find the stuff. And the first question when they have something is, did you check the wiki? Did you look it up first, right? Mm -hmm. Because we, and if not, we're happy to answer. So what that did is it got us to answering 200, like a level two question. And then we kind of have answered most of those. And now it's level three questions. So now we're doing things that matter with our agents that make a difference to them instead of saying, where do I get the password for this? Or what website do I use for this? Or like those That's types awesome. of things. So I personally love the vault because mm. it, um, you know, that's been a huge, I can't tell you how many times that the agents will contact us in a panic. Oh my gosh, I can't, I don't have the password to this or that. And the fact that it's all right there is really beneficial. So I really like that. I'm you sure can also let them just click to log in to an application instead yeah, of you remember one phrase yeah. and that's mm -hmm. it so yeah so that's now they've done a great job with setting up these permissions mm -hmm. and priorities i'm not sure what they call them the different profiles but when i assign somebody as a new a new group when they sign up they've done a great job that now all of a sudden they get all of these applications right. assigned to them right and i assign their role and then it assigns them all their passwords and all their stuff that's assigned there. It takes time. It takes time and energy and effort. But then once you do it once, it's like, I am so finish. glad you said that. Cause a lot of people come to us and they like don't have a system yet. They're starting from scratch and they want to be where you're at and they don't understand, you know, why is it going to cost me so much money or so much time to get there? And it's like, you just have to go through it and you don't know exactly what you need yet. You have to go through these processes and you have to go through the growth to see what you need to implement later on. So it does take time and you may go through multiple versions of your system before you finally get there. And even then you're still going to grow after that, right? Oh, and change things. I mean, that's, that's the nature of our business, but the mm -hmm. fact that you have all of the tools and you can add and subtract and modify it where you've got one platform. Mm -hmm. I think is really the key. I think we specialize in doing things wrong, to be honest with you. And then we just <laughs> learn from it, right? Because yeah. like yeah. all day you do- That's so not true. <laughs> no, you're but, not doing things no, wrong. That's how we learn I everything. know what you mean though. <laughs> yeah, right? Like what you just learn from it. And yeah. then all of a sudden you get better and you try not to ever make the same mistake twice. And I don't mind, ironically, I talk yeah. to my wife about this a lot. I don't mind a small problem. Yeah, because for sure. a yep. small problem, 
you often avoid a large problem, mm -hmm. which is a really yeah. good thing to do. And it gives you the opportunity to fix it, to repair it so it doesn't take place again. Right. So when they come up, I'll tell anyone that works with us, I'll be like, hey, I can't solve your problem right now. Okay. Whenever that comes up for this particular time, because it's going to take me a little bit of time to program mm -hmm. it, to make it work, to like figure out the solution. However, my goal is I want to prevent that problem from happening again. No matter how big or small it is, I don't want that to occur. So let me take the time, dig into the process and find whatever that is so we can mm -hmm. prevent it going forward. Absolutely. So as long as it's York. part of a learning curve and you know, all those problems is just ways to learn, right? So Leo always learn. tells me you can't grow without the pain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, yeah, pain, pain is a crucial part of growth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking about taking up uh, polar bear plunging. Is that a good idea? What do you say, sir? Of I course, it's good do for it. you. So yeah, it's good for you. Of course. I still can't believe you did that, Lior. Of course, it's fun. I, I, I didn't like the cold so much. And my, my son told me, because every, every time he's facing a fear, I'm telling him, do it. He's, for example, afraid of sharks. So we take the boat, we go far into the water, let's swim, let's see what will happen. And he told me, so you're telling me all the time that we need to go to face our fears, but you don't want the cold and you don't like the cold. So I said, okay, screw it, I'm going to do it. So it was really nice to see you shirtless and, you know, in all those different situations. So in your honor, I'm just going to take my shirt off. No. Real quick. Oh, okay. Hang on. No, 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 no. But you, you have, you, you're training. You have a good body. I saw you without a shirt. Oh, my word. You, you, have, right. you have good build on you. So what's the plan for, for a quiz for 2022? Mm. For the next year? You know, the I know that you expanded to Atlanta, right? No, Montana. Montana, sorry. You expanded to Montana. You're in Texas, expanded to Montana. Mm -hmm. What's the next jump? Yep. So we were actually talking just the other day about this for some of our plans. And what we want to do is we, we have a long-term nationwide expansion plan in mind where we get to go nationwide to all these different places. However, we realize it's going to take time. We are super embedded in our current business on a day-to-day -day basis in Dallas. We close about 250 homes on an annual basis, which is like one every single business day. Right. That's had us super hands-on for a long time in a lot of ways. But to be able to grow, we can't physically be involved in all these transactions. So what we are strongly considering for next year, well, almost for right away, is to open the second market but to slowly start to be in the state of Montana one week on, an, on a monthly basis, the first week awesome. of the month. What that would do is move us away from Dallas physically, and we would then not work on Dallas at all for the one week a month. We would only work on systems and processes to be able to grow the Montana market. And by doing that, we can then copy and paste kind mm -hmm. of for other markets. Mm -hmm. And then eventually we would spend two weeks in three weeks in four weeks. And then before you know it, we've hopefully replaced ourselves in the Dallas market without, um, you know, without yeah, losing energy. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, the, the shift between business operator to a business owner. Mm -hmm. It's a very painful jump. Yes. Very painful. Very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, uh, but, but you know, the, the, first, the first thing that you, you, you need to do is what you already did. And that's the processes. Without processes, you're dead, basically. You cannot have more than a few employees. Without mm -hmm. the wiki, you always mm -hmm. answer stupid questions. Without educating your, your, the people that you work with, that did you check the wiki? Uh, you know? So all that will let you be a business owner and not business operator. So for, yeah. for sure... Yeah, you know, I, I know you too also. I know it will work and I know it you, you will be successful 100%. Yeah, no no questions about it. I have okay. an unrelated question. Um, yeah. Since you guys are married, how do you like working together and being together all the time? Because that seems oh. like it would be enjoyable, but sometimes 
very challenging. <laughs> yeah. So if you look at us, we, we, when we, other people ask us how long we've been married. Mm -hmm. So we answer that question. Right. And I believe right now we're at 84 years that we've been married and people are like, <laughs> what is that all about? Like, how have you been married 84 years? You're clearly not double everything. Old, right. But what we do is we kind of look at, we're around each other all the time whether it's like our personal things that we do, vacationing or whatever, and family-wise, because that's important to us. But then work-wise as well, we're around each other so many hours. We figured out that math and looked at it and we did this exponential number, right? Because we spend so much time together. Mm -hmm. And we really do enjoy it. And I it's think great. it's a good balance. I mean, who better can you trust than your spouse? And Mm -hmm. You know, I think a lot of people look at this and they they think I could never work with my spouse, but I feel the opposite. I mean, we have the best time. We, you know, we really enjoy working with each other, but then we know, you know, we do different parts of the business, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, we're involved in the business. This is not like I'm coming home from work and, you know, in a whole different feel that then I have to catch him up on what I've done all day. I mean, we're in the know of what each right. other does right. every day. And, you know, we both have a passion for helping people and, you know, just doing different things, not being like others. And mm -hmm. I think we have like, you know, very, a lot of similarities in that regard, but a lot of differences that challenge each other as well. So it's good. I, I would, I would never want to go and not work next to Mike. And um, I'm super fortunate to feel the same way. Yeah. So I love that. Really but you two are, you, you are different, but at the same time, you are the same. If you know what I mean, you have the same goal, yeah. with different routes. And none of you is egomaniac that is fighting with the other, you know, my idea is better or no, this is the only mm -hmm. way. So I think this is this is why you're able to have this journey together and have fun, right? Mm -hmm. it's, you, and both of you, you know, are also good people. So it's all complement each other. Yeah. And, you know, I think treating each other equal, I mean, that's, that's a big part of it is, you know, yeah, I'll have different thoughts and ideas than he does, but we respect each other's, you know, and we respect each other enough and, you know, we're, we're, genuinely happy for one another too when we have our successes yeah so. that's great and th the last thing i want to cover is something that you did which is uh really really awesome the the thought about it i will get to it don't worry i will get to it you, you know what i'm you don't know what i'm talking about yet <laughs> you don't know what you will know so you did something very very interesting uh, it's creative and also innovative in terms of the zoosphere. You had a big project. I don't know if you sold it already or not. Is the badass Lucas badass badass Lucas? Mm -hmm. Right. So it's a it's a big project, amazing location, and and you created a great website for it. But you wanted to pull the information from Zoo, so. You created an awesome website. It is not Zoho sites. It's a WordPress website that pulled all the information from WorkDrive and Zoho CRM, which I, I think as a project, it's innovative, creative, and amazing. You have your okay. assets in one place, which means it's all in Zoho CRM, but your website is also presenting everything. So I think that was awesome. Well, my wife gave us the most difficult requirement ever, right? So she has this great listing and then she comes back and she gives us, she gives me the requirement. She goes on the internet and she starts typing. So she types in best internet uh, website 2022 <laughs> for single property website, like award-winning, right? Like enter. And then she pulls them off. And now all these results come up of like amazing websites and so we start, I start calling them and I'm trying to figure out like, hey, how can I have somebody do this for me and whatever it is. And I find out that, well, oh, this website was really good. And she's like, yeah, I like that one. Let's do it. So I call the person up and they tell me it's going to cost us 1% of the sales price, which is a lot. And it's going to be $75,000 up front to come have it done. So now my jaw, after I pick it up off the ground and realize and do the math, that that's like $250,000 for a website. 
I'm like, whoa, that's not that. It's a really nice website, sweetheart, right? But we can't do that. So then I call up some trusted people and I'm like, hey, Lior, we have to do this, right? Like, what can we do? And so we come across it and we end up, I think, creating a better site. That's more intuitive, cool. easier to use. That's more, you know, and it's this is and, awesome. No, it's great. It's awesome. Phenomenal. So we get this one, then from one becomes two and two becomes three and three, right? And they keep coming. So what happens is it's unbelievable. The personality that that prop that the website has created for us, the badass badasslistings.com is the branding behind it. And we have Badass Lucas Ranch. We have the Badass Dallas Condo, Badass Lake House, Badass but this Lake. The condo is the one that you came with this huge truck, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. We, oh. we co-branded that with a local great company, Starwood, Starwood Motors. And uh, so that was really good of them to come out. But we tried to brand Shauna and also the property but then create something different with this branding of badass properties. And before we knew it, people were calling and they actually knew what was going on. And they, they wanted to see the property. They were interested about, it. they want to have their property be featured there. Uh, it got a lot of news coverage and press coverage. She, she yeah. was on the news for it. I mean, there's, you know, reports on all types of blogs and stuff and tons of shares and ultimately awesome. pretty good. Yeah, kinda, <laughs> now we should just kinda, call you badass Shauna. That's awesome. <laughs> that's kind of how Mike and Shauna work, right? I that's badass things, and I'll, you know, Mike is a visionary, and he can just, he just knows how to put everything together. But I'll see something really cool because we like to be different. You know, if we're small mm -hmm. competing in a big, big pool, there, then we have to, we have to be different. And I, I know, and I'm kind of, you know, spoiled. But I just give him an idea and he could, he makes it happen all the time. He makes Basically. it happen, but he's killing other people on the way, just so you know. <laughs> just just for Every the soundtrack of the video of the, the Lucas Ranch, you know, we, we talked about it and we went over some, some background music. And until he didn't get exactly what he wanted, exactly, he wouldn't let go because he said that he wants his client to get the best video in the world and he did not compromise on anything and yeah. that's that's awesome and and this is also why i think you guys are successful and why everything that you create your i know that you have also a photography company and you have different avengers and you're very successful in all of them it's because the in a project you have the hundred percent most business owners okay with 80%. It looks like a website, fine, check mark, mm -hmm. go. But you care about the 100%, about the small details, the experience, how the other person that's coming to the website or the property will look like. If someone looks at the property picture, what you will see, how you will imagine it. Planning for a media day, for pictures. This is not common for real estate agents. No one is doing preparation. If hey, what if I told you, Leor? Hmm? Leor, what if I told you that that this the music soundtrack? I was getting some outside influence, maybe from over in this direction, <laughs> on exactly what that should end up being, because she wants it so bad for her clients, and it's a, it, it's a big deal to get things right. I personally, in business, have a philosophy on just about most things. I don't actually strive for 100%, as hard as that is to believe. I strive, for 90, I strive for 97%. And here's why. It's really weird, but, it, but I think it does apply. Because I, I'm okay with something not being perfect. Perfection takes too long. I actually would rather have like five 97s and get more production out than have one or two 100s. Because in that regard, I get more done. Right. Mm -hmm. And it, it, I don't know, it's just seemed to help. So that's, I actually, but, but it's, 95, it's, it's, still, it's still above the, the average business owner when most yeah. of the business owners will be okay with the shell. You know, mm -hmm. I need a website, even buying a template from theme forest for $49 installing goes for 50, you have hundred dollars, you have a website and, and that's common, right? versus mm -hmm. creating 
a badass website that actually mm -hmm. converts and builds brand and people wants to also have one of those and then you know your, your business explodes Thank you very much. It was an honor being on here with you guys today. We appreciate it. And thank you very much, Carol. It was great meeting you. Lior, you are you the well. man. I hope seeing you. I hope to get to see you soon. Yeah, you need to come to Texas. I, I will yeah. come. I'm double vaccinated. I can cross the border now. So for sure, we need to, to plan. Uh, um, Yellowstone. We're doing Yellowstone over. Is it Labor Day weekend? Uh, yeah, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. I'm doing Yellowstone and we're doing 48 miles of backcountry hiking over the course of three days. And you, my friend, are invited. Let's talk about it. Yeah, All right. right. I'll send you the link. Thank okay, you, sir. Right. Hey, real Thank quick. You. Do you want to tell everyone uh, when your Q&A is every week so we can send them over to you? Yeah, you have a weekly Q&A, right? We do a morning. Um, oh, that's what it is. Talk show at 8. 845 central um, time, central time. Um, and we'll have a link to to the uh to it on the description mm -hmm. yeah we'll put yep, that yep. down there and you go to youtube search quista real estate subscribe and we go on live with our real estate news tv show at 8 45 a.m monday through friday central time very cool fantastic thank you very much guys thank thanks you. Bye. thanks bye, bye, -bye.